In a plant, the plant body is made up of different types of tissues. Tissues are formed by the organization of different types of cells. There are different types of cells which I will explain in the next video. In this video, I will only concentrate upon the cell wall. The tissue is made up of cells and cells are aggregated to form the tissue and all the cells are held together by a middle lamella which is a matrix and this is the layer that is present between the, the adjacent cells. So, between the adjacent cells there is a uh, there is a middle lamella and followed by middle lamella there is a primary cell wall and in a mature cell followed by primary cell wall there is a secondary wall and followed by secondary wall there is a plasma membrane. So if you take a transfer section of a tissue and focus on any one region where you can see a cell, the cell is made up of cytoplasm followed by the plasma membrane, followed by the secondary wall, followed by the primary wall, then there is a middle lamella. So I will give you all the details about these different layers in this video in different slides. And that is the basic difference between the plant cell and animal cells. Generally, animal cells don't have a cell wall, whereas the plant cells have a cell wall. Cell wall is a unique structure in the plant cell and it is generally produced outside the plasma membrane. When a new cell is produced followed by mitosis, the cell is born without a cell wall. It is only bounded by the plasma membrane. Immediately, the cell starts producing the cell wall which is synthesized outside the plasma membrane. The first cell wall that is produced is called the primary cell wall and it is basically made up of only cell doors. Later on, the secondary cell wall is produced inner to the primary cell wall. cellulose, hemicellulose, pectin, lignin, suberin, all these chemicals are found in the cell wall. In the primary cell wall, we only have cellulose as the most important component. In addition to that, you also have some amount of hemicellulose, you also have pectin, you also have proteins. <laughs> The chemical composition of cell wall varies with the type of cells that we have. For example, if you take epidermis, the outermost layer of the epidermis is made up of cutin and you also have pectin. So this is forming the cuticle. Whereas the cells that are found inside, for example in parenchyma, you have the cell wall made up of cellulose, semicellulose, proteins and other structures. But in case of the sclerenchymata cells, the cell wall is predominantly made up of the secondary cell wall which is maybe in one, two or three layers which is basically made up of lignin. In case of endodermal cells, 
The outermost layer of the cortex is called endodermis and this prevents the seepage of water from the vascular region. Hence, the endodermis is made up of a special type of chemical called suberin which is forming the cascading strips and this is absent in the passive cells. The formation of a secondary wall is a unique feature and it is found only in some special type of cells, for example, sclerocomitous cells, fiber cells. So in these cases, the secondary wall is very, very thick, is predominantly made up of lignin. And in case of trachids, we find different kinds of thickenings. And the thickenings may be spiral, annular, scalariform. <laughs> Thank you for watching my videos. Please like, share and subscribe. We will meet again in the next video with some other topic. Thank you very much.